Hey guys, welcome to Ace Mining where we discuss crypto mining strategies for survival. Today, let's talk about the title of this video, which is exactly how crypto mining changed my life and what are my thoughts about my crypto mining journey so far. I still remember to this day, I started mining crypto on my own laptop, which I was using at that time on September 19, 2020. And as you can see by the timing of this email from NiceHash, it was 4.55 am in the morning. And since then, a lot of time has passed. And as you can see, Today's date is February 10, 2022. So guys, I think I have a decent amount of experience that I can bring onto the table and maybe you guys can learn a thing or two from this video. Once again, not financial advice. I'm just a guy who wants to share his experience with you and the timing could not be more right because our channel recently crossed 1000 subscribers. And guys, achieving this was really a huge milestone for me. So I guess this is a good time to talk about it. I know this is not a typical ace mining video where we usually discuss about GPUs, hash rates and some other stuff but once again I'll repeat what I just said. I just wanted to share my experience with you guys because I have been mining all this time but before I do that this video is sponsored by me and if you guys are interested in money, crypto and mining you should watch this video until the end and definitely hit that subscribe button because here at ace mining there's the stuff that we talk about. So guys, before I talk about how I started mining crypto, let me tell you when exactly I was introduced to cryptocurrency and by cryptocurrency I mean Bitcoin because back in the day Bitcoin was the thing. The timing was around 2014 and I checked the charts as well when I heard the name Bitcoin for the first time. It must be right around this date 31 of December 2013 because the price of Bitcoin is $204 and I specifically remember that I checked the price of Bitcoin in Indian rupees and it was around 12,000 rupees at that time. So I'm pretty much sure that this was the timing around which I first discovered what a cryptocurrency was. The reason I got around to this thing, this particular thing is because at that time I was young going to school maybe I was an intermediate as much as I can remember I always had this thing to find out ways I could earn money online and such I still remember I created my Amazon affiliate account long back when I was in school class 9 class 10 at that time I created my Amazon affiliate account so I have had this interest to make money from something you can do with your computer and internet and that was the reason I got around to this Bitcoin thing at that time cryptocurrency was fairly new and people were really hyped about it even at that time and there was some website i don't remember the name that provided private keys and wallet and the wallet was available on the website itself so i remember creating a wallet for bitcoin and planning on to buy like 10 rupees 20 rupees bitcoin or something but i did not move ahead because as i said i was in school i did not have a bank account at that time it was hard to convince parents on something like that and guys back in the day when you are going to school even the amount like 12,000 rupees which was around 200 dollars at that time was pretty big amount at that time i remember people were able to mine bitcoin with gpus itself before it became an e6 specific proof of work coin one of the most popular cards was gtx 750 at that time that i remember and the gts 750 alone would cost you around 10 to 12 thousand rupees so there was that so buying a lot of those cards just to mine crypto was beyond my imagination at that point i would never have thought i was gonna be in this space heavily invested in this space growing up so time passes around 2017 yeah that was the time bitcoin gained a lot of popularity and as you can see it is touching the prices of 17000 dollars so this was the time a relative of mine convinced me as well as talked to me about this thing and how he was investing in bitcoin and such and so i convinced my parents to invest in bitcoin too without doing any proper research at that time there were only two exchanges in india as much as i can remember one was zeppe and the other was juno coin these were the only top two exchanges so what we did was i guess we invested around 1 lakh rupees which is around 1400 dollars bear in mind at this time i was in college i hadn't done much research on bitcoin or cryptocurrency as a whole it was just fomo thing people were investing i asked my parents to invest too and gladly they did because a relative of mine had a positive experience of making gains from investing into bitcoin so there was that i don't remember the exact numbers but i remember this much we had like one by third of a bitcoin which was valued around one lakh rupees 
and bitcoin itself was around 3 lakh 50 thousand rupees or something so but i remember at that time government launched new rules and regulations regarding cryptocurrency in india and they banned all the exchanges and gave us a timeline to convert all our money to fiat that means liquidating our assets forcefully because we were under the impression that this will get banned and cryptocurrency will never be traded in india ever again and guys at that time i was a noob as well i could have transferred my bitcoins to a proper wallet and kept it there but i didn't do that instead i let my parents cash out on the low price of bitcoin at that time to recover some of the money so imagine that going up now but that did not happen so after that i tried investing a bit in stock markets and such failed miserably lost a lot of money and then i stopped trading as a whole and then time kept passing and passing and passing until we are back in 2020 and at this point my college is over and i'm a free man i can either join go for a job or try to invest my money in something else so at this point i do not have a job i'm not going to college i have a lot of free time me and a computer i look for ways to earn money online again it's something i like to do and at this point i had a gaming pc at my home along with my own laptop which was a gaming laptop and the gaming pc had like 1050 ti in it so i knew it could mine something and the processor was ryzen 3600 and in my laptop i had i7 6 gen the laptop was purchased back in 2015 and the gpu was gtx 970 3 gb gpu basically what i did is on september 19 2020 i was just searching ways people are making money online reading things on quora watching youtube videos and at that time cryptocurrency was gaining back momentum so we are talking about september and right around here you can see so is coming back in business and we are seeing a positive chart and i still remember the day i bought my first gpu the price of bitcoin was like 17 18 thousand dollars and that was in october as much as i can remember so somewhere around here i guess so let's come back to september i started mining with my laptop and how i did that was i just simply searched on youtube how to mine cryptocurrency so at that time these odd channels were non-existent there were only some videos and one of those videos just recommended me to go to nice hash it was pretty easy you just needed to download software create an account and hit start and that was it you would start mining and earn rewards in bitcoin so i read about it it was kind of easy it was pretty shocking how easy it was to mine what i did was i started mining overnight on my laptop i was making like 30 to 40 rupees a day i guess with cpu and gpu GPU mining both, CPU was mining Monero and GPU was mining Whale or Beam I guess and then I started doing that on my home gaming PC as well so I started mining overnight on that too and by October 25 or 26 I guess I was able to accumulate enough Bitcoin to actually make a payout and once again between that I discovered about virtual machines and how Microsoft Azure has programs for students and they give trial for a few days so you can create a virtual machine so what I did was I created a bunch of Microsoft accounts that method does not work now so please do not research on that and it's not as profitable too but I did do that I created like four or five VMs I used to CPU mine on those virtual machines too with my two PCs and four or five VMs I was able to make enough to actually pay out and then I reinstalled my old app which was Zepay on which I made my parents to invest in Bitcoin so that account was still active cryptocurrency trading was back in India around January or February 2020 so that was not a problem anymore transferred my Bitcoin from nice hash wallet to Zeppe sold it cashed out and that is exactly how I learned how this all works so this is the time in 2020 I am full noob in mining just learning a few things here and there during this time I was mining and the time I reached my payout minimum payout threshold I was deeply researching into mining I mean in those one month I have done so much research on mining I don't think I have done that much research in like the following year or so after I was set with everything I discovered nice as proper profitability calculator good old what to mine what gpus are profitable how much wattage they consume and the good part about this is this was not at all tough for me because not only i have been gaming on pcs for quite a while i have this interest for pc building as well and i have had previous experience with building and breaking pcs literally destroying pcs and building them and 
I have been a follower of Linus Tech Tips for like I guess seven eight years now, and I know I guess more than average person about PC building, how things work, and I've always had an interest on new PC hardware, not specifically crypto mining hardware, PC hardware related to gaming and such. And I've always been a gamer, be it console gaming or PC gaming. Ever since I was in school, I have been building PCs for computer lab in school as well, and building PCs for family members or friends. Recommending new stuff, so you get the vibe. It is total nerd thing. So I have been follower of Linus Tech Tips, MKBHD, Steve from Gamers Nexus, Jay's Two Cents, channels like these, even Dave Two D, Paul's Hardware, Bitfit, and a lot of other channels. So and I still watch every video to this day, just because I have interest in computer hardware, processor, graphic card, how things are going in the space. So it was not at all tough for me to understand how to build a mining rig. All I needed. Was the information about hash rate, wattage, price to performance, which graphics card is good, which graphics card ain't good. So at that time, 2020 October November, graphics card prices are normal. RTX 3000 series were about to come out. That was the big thing. So I still remember in October, I asked for two lakh rupees for my dad, and then I went to a couple of shops to shop for not the RTX 30 series. Actually, I went to shop for RX 580 8 GB. At that time. It was going for eighteen, nineteen thousand rupees per GPU. I mean, guys, I'm not even kidding. And you could bargain it to around seventeen thousand rupees. So what happened was, I knew thirty series was about to launch. So what I decided was, I will not buy RX five eighty. So came back home, returned the money to my dad, just because I was not getting good deal. I was thinking if I bought this GPU in bulk, six or twelve pieces. I would get a good discount, but that was not the case. So I just came back now, and now around October 25 or something. I mean, at that time RTX 3000 series was about to come out. It was like a week or so, and I did my research. Instead of going with the RX 580, I decided to go with 5700 XTs. They were not the best GPUs for price to performance, even at that time. The RX 580 was king when it comes to Ethereum mining. However, instead of buying 10 or 12 RX 580s, I could buy 65700 XTs and get roughly same amount of hash rate. And guys, at that time, this this was supposedly my first mining rig build, so I wanted things to go smooth. And guys, it was a really good decision because 5700 XTs are a lot better than the RX 580s when it comes to few other coin support. I mean, the GPU gives around 55 megahertz per second while consuming like 100 watts, 110 watts. So the power consumption is just brilliant on these cards compared to the 140 watt power consumption on RX 580. So what I did was. I heard about this shop from a friend. He recommended it to me. I just went there, talked to the guy, and he was really supportive of miners. And I understand why because we buy a lot of shit at the same time, so they make a lot of profit. And at that time, the shop guy really tried to save my money on things, gave me a lot of insights. So to which I am still grateful. I was able to bargain for this GPU too. We got six of these at thirty-seven thousand rupees each, which is around which is around four hundred fifty to five hundred dollars. And then I built my mining rig. So this was giving me around three hundred to three hundred thirty megahertz per second, somewhere between that. Three hundred fifteen was the number that overclocks were stable. And at the beginning, I thought I was gonna BIOS mod those cards. Let me just show you a video where I rebuilt those. So this is the same rig which I just rebuilt. These are the cards, and I have a video of myself rebuilding this entire rig. So this is all the rig that I built first on this video, which I uploaded on December fourteen. And actually, there was a lot of things wrong with this. I mean, these six graphics cards were running on five power supplies, so you can imagine that there is a lot of things wrong with this build. So now it's all fixed. I tried to save money on everything, so I bought multiple power supplies, cheaper ones. First mining rig, guys. I tried to save money on everything. Now we can see this is a beast mining rig, and I've only added the RX 6800. Apart from these cards, which were bought on, I guess 26 or 27th of October, I don't remember correctly. So there's that, and that is how my mining journey started. Even for the case, if you can see, I got this custom made. I could have bought a pre-built case. It was being sold on Amazon, as much as I can remember. Fast forwarding to now, I have rebuilt this rig, and I plan on rebuilding my other Nvidia rig as well. In the future video, I'm just trying to make time for that. So it's the rig you see right here. This is also not perfect, but it's still better than this one. And guys, that is how I started mining. And 
forgot to tell you guys the day i decided to buy the 5700 xt six of them my dad actually did not have the money on hand so what i had to essentially do was take a loan from a relative so i asked for 3 lakh 50 thousand rupees so which is 4677 dollars so that was the amount i took and actually i paid them back in 2021 september so that took me a lot of time to pay them back it is paid back now so there's that not recommending this to anyone guys i was just really lucky to get all the components at msrp 80 percent of my mining farm was bought at msrp price if you can believe that so i was really lucky so not recommending this to anyone please don't take loan and start mining and now the profitability is down too so just saying that guys for the sake of your benefit don't do this i did a stupid thing at that time and it worked out for me. Nvidia launched the 3000 series cards and then came the 3060 Ti which was the mining king at that time. So I bought this one right after I built this 6 GPU mining rig. I decided to purchase this 3060 Ti and then I got like 4 of these and by March I started to notice that prices were going higher and higher. So somewhere between January and March I purchased 1660 supers for like 29,000 and 33,000. A 2060 Super, which I don't, don't think you can find at a decent price now. Yeah, 2060 Super is available for 62,900. I bought this card for 30,000 rupees from Ignor CD. So there's that. And those were really wise decisions at my part. And after that, I haven't updated much of my farm. So later in 2021, I only purchased like stuff that I have shown on the channel. 3060 Ti from MSI. 3070 Ti, which I got at MSRP from RP Tech and RX 6800, so 3 GPUs, also a 3070 Ti from Zotac, 4 GPUs, and I remember I also purchased a 1660 Super from MSI, so total 5 GPUs. It's kind of hard to believe, but I am a veteran miner in the space, and after March of 2021, that means 9 months and counting January to so 10 months in 10 months i have just purchased five gpus because the pricing was mad high and it still is and the scalping scene in india is getting worse day by day and that is why i restricted myself to buy gpus from here so right now as you can see i have 860 mega hashes of reported hash rate on ethereum and i could push this to 900 mega hash because the pc i am recording this on has the 3070 ti founders edition on it but i don't mine on it just because i use this pc 24 7 mostly so 860 mega hashes are doing somewhere around this kind of increase they are doing around 2500 rupees so profitability has increased slightly right now but they are doing an average of like 2200 to 2500 rupees from the last four days so there's that so the profitability has gone down significantly because i remember i was making around 3500 even more than 4000 rupees per day just mine with 850 mega hash farm so that was really great days for mining but we are past that now and talking about things i posted on the channel let's talk about the decision i made on july 30 2021 when i decided now i am a veteran miner and i guess i should create my own youtube channel and help people save money on stuff they should buy for gpu mining if they are interested and my first video still was thumbnail mining money and essentially a guide to mine cryptocurrency with any pc that you have and it's essentially a tutorial to start mining on nice hash it is a terrible video don't watch it but that is how my mining journey began on youtube so at first i started to build these hypothetical mining rigs so i tried to find the cheapest components online with the cheapest pricing link them in the description and those videos did pretty good for starting youtube channel so as you can see i'm building hypothetical mining rigs like mining rig component analysis on pricing profitability roi and such and since then the community started growing I tried to deliver more and more content as much as possible but recently it's been a bit tough because i got this new job and it's been hard especially since the last two months so there's that but i'm trying to keep up last video was seven days ago whatever that has happened after july 30 i have been updating with you guys so guys essentially that is how i started mining and you guys already know how the journey has been going so far obviously there have been a lot of hiccups scalping decrease in profitability and listening to rumors about crypto ban in india and 
finally this big thing which everyone is talking about right now is about the tag which is 30% flat and 1% TDS on all crypto trades on Indian exchanges as well as the exchanges on which you have provided KYC so there's that and thing is honestly messed up maybe in future we will have more clarity about it maybe by signing the petition things could actually get in our favor uh, as much as I have, I remember now the petition has more than 75,000 signatures let me just check so yeah it's right here and now they have 72,738 signatures so still some people are left to reach so maybe if this makes enough uproar we will see some changes in crypto tax policies here in India so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link this in the description so if you haven't signed already which I guess we have already did but if you haven't please do us a favor even if you are not from India please sign this petition I mean this is madness 30% flat and 1% TDS it's a lot so not discussing much about that other than all these hiccups it's been a smooth sailing guys I mean there were sometimes issues with couple of graphic card overclock settings and I was issues but that's because I had to disassemble the rigs to make videos on graphics card and I have done those a lot of times I mean just for the sake of video I have turned off a rig removed the GPU made a video and put it back and sometimes by doing that the rig does not function in the way it was doing before and these things may happen but that is something that I have to do if I'm trying to make something of myself as a youtuber in the crypto mining space and guys going back to the title crypto mining has definitely changed my life i mean two words financial freedom and other two words passive income most of the year of 2021 i did not have a job i was just earning money from mining crypto and the profits were so good that honestly i did not need a job because as of now i do not have people that i need to take care of still i'm not responsible for people under me so there's that things managed kind of its own but around december i decided to go for a job and now this is not the only thing i do but guys to be honest i really have high hopes for my channel is mining i mean my end goal is not just to be a youtuber who focuses on mining mining was never my first love in this space it was always not linus tech tips but pc hardware that's where my interest is new hardware like the steam deck or ddr5 ram which was kind of disappointing and overpriced gaming performance on rtx 3050 shit gaming performance rx 6500 and things like that if you see the top youtubers i watch lions detectives tech salazar great youtuber once again son of a tech obviously mining because it is a part of life i will watch mining youtube channels jay's two cents tech source bitwit austin all of these are channels focused on pc hardware and hardware in general so guys i'm not gonna lie i have made good amount of money from mining and have paid back my debts which you should not take for this because it's becoming more and more risky with ethereum 2.0 which is not even called ethereum 2.0 anymore coming close as you can see it was formerly called at 2 we have deprecated the use of at 1 at 2 terms okay so there's that so the merge is coming estimated around july after july mining ethereum will not be profitable or maybe it won't be mineable at all and that changes a lot of things in the gpu mining space because ethereum has a lot of hash rate and if those hash rate numbers were to spread in multiple coins it will definitely create a difficulty spike among other coins and it will be kind of a hit or miss thing to see if any of these profitable coins can handle that hash rate we are in for a ride and that is why I'm not buying any crypto hardware components. I've already broken even on most of my stuff. Since then, I have been mining on GPU. I've been mining on CPUs. I have invested in NFT crypto games like this one, for example. Uh, it's not much profitable right now. I never made a video about it because the experience has been kind of mixed playing this game. And I was about to get into Planet Watch token mining as such, but all those plans are on hold. And I, right now, I'm only focusing on GPU mining. I'll try my best to make more and more informative videos on this channel and the plan is to upload at least two videos a week but we will see and I'm also gonna be live streaming from now it's still in works but it's being planned so what we will essentially do is I'm gonna live stream we're gonna discuss so guys that was it that was my experience and how crypto mining changed my life and some other things people asked to me is how I actually learned things about mining so all of the credit will go to the mining youtube channels which are pretty big in the space right now and some of the favorite mining youtubers that i have seen 
and have been following for last two years starting with mining chamber i mean the dude has a video on rx 5700 xt's assembly and everything like a to z and not just 5700 xt's he will show everything to you guys here miss 5700 xt overview 5700 xt mining rig build these videos were really important for me and even the intro of my channel is dedicated to mining chamber so i'm gonna be linking him if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe to his channel too and obviously there are awesome people like brandon coin red panda mining son of attack mining office red fox crypto seps fintech tech shinji hash raptor and obviously and also was coin he is not specifically focused on mining but the content related to crypto is great also i forgot to mention chum change xt which a channel has been so much help and also his discord server which is misfit mining also rabbit mining when it comes to cpu mining is just king of cpu mining on youtube and so much information so you can check out these youtube channels so that is where i specifically learned everything so guys that was it my experience my journey and how crypto mining has changed my life i have helped people get into gpu mining i have an awesome community in discord of people who are interested in gpu mining and mining as a whole it's been really great if you need any help or you if you want to contact me you can just dm me from here and i will reply you any query or any thoughts regarding this video if you are a veteran subscriber please tell me about your journey so far with my youtube channel in the comments and as always goodbye and happy mining and i'm going to see you in the next video see you later guys